It's all the satisfaction of Nashville hot chicken, but wheat-free, gluten-free, and made in the air fryer. We'll take you through each step in our rolling home. Everything you need is linked in the description. It's healthy down the road, so we are making Nashville hot chicken a lot more healthy. We're starting out with some oat flour. I've got some chicken tenders already cleaned. I'm going to be using cage-free egg beaters. Made with real eggs, but egg beaters. I'm going to mix that with a little bit of, instead of milk. We're going to go with California Farms. Oat milk. All right. I'm going to go ahead and whip up the eggs with the oat milk. Stir that up a little bit. Set that off to the side. When life shows an open road, you know you should ride. Forget what you've been told. And ride this open road. And this open road. You eat better. You got more energy. You don't just want to sit around in your truck all day when you ain't working. I don't just know a little bit about nutrition in the human body. I went to school for exercise science before I started was a truck driver. And I also was a NASM certified per, a personal trainer and group exercise instructor. I know a lot about nutrition and a lot about exercise. I am an over the road truck driver. So it is, it is a little hard sometimes to be able to stop and do something like this. You got 10 hours off you've got a half an hour to do something like this it does not take long to bread up some chicken strips your health is never something you should sacrifice for a couple of dollars get something a little bit better for yourself i've already done up about six of these it's been about 10 minutes i got a little table i'll show you in just a second i got it off of amazon it's just a little desk that you put on your lap but the cleanup for this Tongs. And with the remnants of the oak flour in there, scrape the trash bag. Now you can just toss that. And that right there is how you get a whole group. Nashville hot chicken. I'm gonna get this chicken started now. Just wanted to point out that Nashville hot chicken that we're making. It's not really fried chicken, it's air fried chicken. We got an air fry, we got a Power XL air fryer slash grill slash oven slash toaster that we have in the truck. Power XL, just dump a, a just a hair bit of oil. All right, here we go. Let's get some chicken in here. You can use the basket in the air fryer if you'd like. I use it sometimes. I don't always use it. Sometimes I just put it right on the grill. Here's our air fried oat flour and chicken tenders. In the next step, we'll make them hot chicken. Grab your cayenne oil and honey. Hot chicken is just fried chicken that's been drenched in what's called a wet rub. Traditionally, the tenders are dipped in a bowl of wet rub. While traveling through Nashville and Memphis, we noticed that some recipes include a sweet finish to balance the heat of the cayenne. I love that addition, so we will be adding honey. Because my husband and I like a different level of heat in our hot chicken, we'll just be adding these ingredients on top rather than soaking it in a bath of wet rub. I'll take you through that now. First, we're gonna add the sweet, then we'll add the heat. The last step will be to add your favorite seasoning blend. My personal favorite is Tony's Creole Seasoning. If you like more oil, you can add that here too. First, take your air fried chicken tenders and place them in a bowl. I'm adding an amazing honey that we got at our stop at the corner market in Jackson, Mississippi. Now sprinkle on your cayenne pepper. The more cayenne you add, the hotter your hot chicken will be. Now finish with your favorite seasoning salt or blend. I'm going to add just a little Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. Now turn this over onto a piece of toast and dig in. Oh my god. I love oatmeal. 
milk, I love oat flour, but the chicken with the honey and the little bit of olive oil there, and then the cayenne pepper just kicking it at the end. And then I, of course, have to have some real hot meat. Well, we've come to the end of this run. Click subscribe to ride along with us on all our adventures.